Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Hannibal Season 3, Episode 8. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I am excited to get into this episode. We only have a couple episodes left of the season. Guys, it's crazy. So, so excited. Alright, I'm ready to get into this, but we have some few things to discuss first. Um, starting soon, pilot program will be happening because... This show's coming to an end, and before this one comes to an end, The Expanse is coming to an end. So everything's coming to an end. So I need new shows to replace those two. Possibly add an extra one. We'll see how it goes. So far I have five pilots I am reacting to. I have filmed one so far, I have four more to go. But they will all be going on to Patreon first, uncut. For early and everything, for everyone to look at on there. And comment. And then they're going to go on YouTube where you guys will view, comment, leave thumbs up, and with the top two will be being reacted to fully. Depending on what you guys want, basically. It's all up to you guys. Majority rules. Democracy here. And if there happens to be some that are really still high up and just slightly below another, like a third one or something, maybe I'll can still continue it. I have to be careful, I don't want to put too much on my plate to adding like a fourth show every week or a fifth until I, like, I know I can handle it because I'm starting, I just started a new job and things, I, I don't want things to get lost. I don't want, like right now I'm like over, I have stuff edited to up to November right now and it's not even, it's still September. So I'm over a month ahead in filming and editing. And I don't want to start another show and then suddenly be behind and ruin that up. Screw that up. Because I like being ahead. So that way if I need to take a mental day off from filming or editing, I don't have to worry about it. Because sometimes I always feel guilty not doing a day without filming or editing because I'm like, I, have st I need to get stuff done. But I'm like, now I, I can't without being worried because I don't have to get it done. A day won't change anything. Even a week. If I took a week off. Which I know actually in October I'm going to be taking a couple days off. Because I'm going on to Phoenix for a little bit. But I don't want to edit or film during that time. So I want to make sure I stay this far ahead. What else is there? say? Sorry, I'm like creeped out. I'm like, I have to look around my room a lot now. Because... Long story short, last night I saw a spider, it was like this big, black, evil, genius spider. I was trying to kill it, and it hid in the corner, and I had to get my roommates to come and help. We had like three of us try to kill this thing, tried spraying it with rage, and it was like still moving and like running away. And then it ran into one of the sticky pads I had, and it ran over it, and didn't get stuck. And then eventually we got it cornered, and like it got stuck on the sticky spray while being sprayed. It took like two things to kill it at once. It was so big. It was so creepy. It was fucked up. And now I'm like, it could have family. I had like three, four hours of sleep last night because all I could think about was, it has family coming for me now. It was giant. And it looked like it could have been a wolf spider, which means if you actually kill those spiders and like smush them, then all the little babies come out. And I'm not doing that shit. If I see another one today, I'm, I'm not even going to get my shoes on, I'm just going to walk out. I'm going to walk outside, deal with outside nature. That shit's better than here. Ooh. Every time I feel itch too, or see a little black spot on the ground or something, even though they may be dirt or like a little something trash dropped, Freaks me the fuck out. I can't go into a room without turning the light on now and looking around and scanning everything. <sighs> Sorry. It bothered me a lot. I had my adrenaline pumping last night. I spent like, it took like 30, 45 minutes to kill this thing. Mostly because for like 40 minutes I was standing there waiting for it to get out of the corner because it was hiding in the corner. So I couldn't, sm I couldn't try to get it because it was just like hiding away in a perfect spot. It was genius. And every time I looked away, it would move. <sighs> it was too smart. Way too smart of a spider. Sorry. Just a little horror story from last night. 
Well, I'm a little jumpy right now, so it's great to watch Hannibal because I'm going to be really jumpy for this. And if God's sake, this happens to be the episode where they decide to bring on a spider or something, I know the show hates me. Like, if, if there's a spider, I know the show is purposely after me. After last episode was so crazy and emotionally and mentally just draining and like attacked me over and over with all the gruesomeness. I don't think I can handle another one like that. Definitely have to last night, Lord. Whew. Okay, I think I've talked enough. Sorry. Um, before we get into the episode, though, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And then press that notification bell if you want to be notified right away when new videos are uploaded. And down below in the description box, links to my social media, Amazon wishlist, and Patreon if you want these episodes uncut and way early. Yeah. Season Season 3 hasn't even premiered on YouTube while I'm filming this right now. It's sh it should be filming tomorrow. And by tomorrow, hopefully I'll watch another one of the episodes. So I'll be almost done with the season. Yeah. Just let you know. Yeah. Okay, by the time this comes out, I'll definitely be done with the season. The whole series. Hmm, it's sad to say. Okay, guys. Sorry. Ooh. get into this. I'm scared, but I'm ready. Here we go. Who is this dude? He's a good looking guy though. Well, at least his body is nice. Damn. Oh, okay. It's a little creepy though. Hey, like, I like, I like his body, his body and everything. It's nice, but they could be really creepy vibes with the music and the way they're just doing this, I don't know. Normally it wouldn't be creeping me out so much seeing a guy, hot guy work out, but this, this is a little bizarre. Oh, he went like full tattoo there. Oh God. Okay, you just lost a lot of your attractiveness, dude. Like, you were so hot and then you went, covered yourself with that tattoo. Because you want to become that thing. You want to become the red dragon. Oh, music. Okay. That was the whole intro. Lord, that was a long ass intro and I have no idea what the fuck went on. <laughs> uh, uh. Kitchen nightmare. Or is this just him in his head? Remembering this or something. His memory palace. This is a creepy thing for him to imagine. Honestly, that kid was creeping it. What? Three years later? An itch easy enough to scratch when there's cause to celebrate. His Bloom's friends with the Hannibal now. How did he get out of jail? And back in his old place. You're officially insane. Well, we knew that. There's no consensus in the psychiatric community what I should be doing. Did he hear the insanity plea? Who? This means you'll be spared the federal death sentence. Oh, wait. He's not in his office. He's in there. Oh, he's just imagining. Damn. And he was playing who? Someone in her beer? So much going on right now. Covered in blood? Oh. My. God. Why is it all black? What the fuck? You have served me this before. One of my favorite desserts. Traditionally made with pig's blood in this case. Uh oh. Local cow. Uh oh. Yeah. And when you last made it for me? Not pig's blood. Only in the derogatory sense. No. Yeah. Ew. And they're using plastic spoons like Paper plates. I love that they're using that. It's like it's meant to be fancy, but it's not. Oh, don't look right at it. Oh. What is wrong with this guy? Oh. 
Will. William. Oh. Oh, he has his dogs back. Oh, look at all of them. I just want to cuddle with every single one of them and buy them toys and treats. And Jack. Is Jack about to get well to help them with the Tooth Fairy? Thank you. Where is he living? Because I love this even more than his last place. Well, I didn't really love his last place, but I love this place. The wood cabin in the snow. Oh, beautiful Will. Shows well. Shows really well. Let Will be. Let him live his life without getting back into this shit. Please. He need. Give him the rest of his life to chill. He doesn't care anymore. Let him not care. Come on, Jack. I don't believe I could do it now. Good for him. Finally, he can stop his brain from thinking that way. Don't guilt him into this, Jack. No. We might have a little more than three weeks before he does it again. Does he have a whole family now? Does he have a wife and kids three years later? How? No offense, Will. You're amazing, but I don't know if I could be married to him. You don't have to. There are other people that can do this. And stop bringing this photo out to guilt her or anyone into this shit. That's no, Jack, stop it. Come on. Maybe it would sour this place for you. High noon. And there is a bit of a point there. Deep down inside, Will can't just let this happen. But he should, he should. Satisfaction that you did the right thing. Oh, why do I feel like Molly and Walter are going to die by the end of the season? They're going to be killed by either the Tooth Fairy or by Hannibal. I won't. Uh, are you really going to want him back, though? When he comes back the way he's going to come back? That's the question. Oh, did he get a letter? He got a letter from Hannibal, right? Yep, that's Hannibal's writing. Oh, damn. Has he not read it? Oh. About the Tooth Fairy. He wants him to go after the Tooth Fairy, too, because he knows if he goes after the Tooth Fairy, he'll be walking right back into Hannibal's hands. I would encourage you as a friend not to step back through the door. Here. Oh, Hannibal doesn't want him to come back. Is this his old place? No, it's not. Who's, is, oh, that was like a perfect cut. I do love the perfect circle there. That's a good cut. Is he going to where one of the house, the motors was? Yeah, the police tape. Should you really be doing this at nighttime without any supervision of any kind, Will? Maybe Hannibal sent that letter saying don't go back knowing that would entice him to go back more because why else would you put the newspaper clip in there oh shit here we go oh he hasn't done this in a while i'm scared for him and this is why you have alarm systems people definitely when you have a family and kids and all Always have a alarm system. So he went up to the parents first. Mr. Leeds is oh, dead. right he away. His wife. Damn. I shoot one of the two boys in bed. The other boy I pull out from under his bed. And shoot Why was one on sleeping in bed and the other one was hiding? Didn't wake up the other one? It's a little rude. Oh, in the gloves. So he took the gloves off, that's how the powder got out. So what did he touch with his hand? He had to touch it with his own hands, that's creepy. Oh, the wings? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. I, I gotta say, I missed that, that part of the show. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen that. I have a history of biting at lesser assaults. 
Maybe a fighting pattern as much as... I feel bad because I was a fighting kid, so I don't know. Is that what I'm going to become? I got kicked out of like two or three preschools because I bit kids. What's going to happen to it? Oh, he was taking the dog. Everyone should worry about the dog. I mean, it's the best <laughs> yeah. you can, that's all. And he wants to help the dog. Let him help the dog. Until I'm driven to it by desperation in the last days before the full moon. Go see Hannibal. Yep. While it might be of some use. Go get him. Get some advice and help from him. Back together. Oh, and there's the episode. Yep, it ended. Yep. Oh. Wow. Okay, so this was a great episode. This really brought me back to like season one vibes in the best way possible. I loved it. We got like, we got new guy. We have some old, like, it just feels good. To feels like the oh it's like they're coming back to the beginning of the show to end the show it's so sad <laughs> all right so many notes let me put my headphones away sorry <sighs> Ooh, sorry still kind of waking up after a few hours of sleep stupid spider god's family somewhere <sighs> mm. Mm. okay so we begin the episode in a really weird intro with a new guy, Red Dragon. He's a little crazy. And he's getting this tattoo from this photo of the Red Dragon that he like suddenly out of nowhere kind of falls in love with and is like, ah, I am the Red Dragon. And then suddenly we see Hannibal out of prison, which was weird. No idea what the fuck is going on. But and then we and we jump three years. We had three year time jump. Damn. Oh, I love when they do a time jump though, just because I'm like, I want to know like wh where everyone is and everything. And we figured out most people. Still trying to figure out some like um, Freddy. We haven't seen Freddy in a long time since her murder was faked in season two. It's been that long, do I have something right now? Dead skin or something. Sorry. Um, yeah. And then we kind of learned that this out of prison thing and is all in Hannibal's head. He is actually imprisoned and he's talking to Bloom. And they talk about how he got away with an insanity plea. Which he is insane, but I don't think he's insane enough to be an insanity plea. He really should have gotten the needle and dead. But they can't do that, obviously, with Hannibal. It wasn't going to happen. No way. But um, it's like Bloom is kind of pissed at it because he's like, he got away with it. He found a way all this time through trial. I'm happy he didn't, he didn't actually have to go through the trial, though. Because that would have been annoying just reliving every single thing that happened. I'm just kind of happy they went past it and moved on to like the aftermath of it. So now Hannibal's just kind of locked up in a little bin. It's a very nice one, though. And he kind of gets everything he wants, which is a little weird. Like, he even got, like, the food he wants. I would feel like, no, give him nothing he wants. Don't even give him the newspaper. Give him, like, little children's books. I don't know. Like, he doesn't deserve all this, like, special treatment. He's killed a lot of people. Why does he get the special treatment? I don't get it. So, they discussed for one second how be, um, Bloom doesn't drink beer anymore because she learned what that um, it, Hannah was what Hannah was putting into her beer, or who. So, what the fuck? All this time he's been giving Bloom someone in her beer. What the fuck? That is twisted. To like grind up someone and put it in there somehow? Ew. Like, I don't like beer already, but if that happened to me, I would definitely never drink beer again. Gross. Like, Lord. 
I feel so bad for Bloom. She's gone through so much. I do like the darker Bloom, though. I do like her a lot. I'm intrigued what she's going to be doing now. Now that, like, Bloom's out, Will's back, and she hasn't seen, we haven't seen if, like, how her and Will are doing. All right. And then we see this new guy go out and kill, I guess. And he's, like, covered in blood or black something. It was weird. And we learn that he is being called the Tooth Fairy. He is the new killer. And he's the Tooth Fairy, which is such a bad name. So bad. And he hates the name, too, which is funny. And I like that. He really hates the name. But his whole thing is he goes in and kills entire families. So I, I, yeah. I, Tooth Fairy is definitely not the best name. It's definitely better. He seems to want to be called the Red Dragon. That's not a great name for him either. Because nothing about his killings make it sound like the Red Dragon. The Red Dragon attacked? No. No. Sounds like a weird, like, superhero show. Alright, um. And then Chelton and Hannibal have a little meeting. With that weird food, somehow he gets good food, but it's on like paper plates and plastic utensils. But it looks really nice. Does he have like a chef there that cooks him food? What kind of place is it that he's at? It's kind of fucking weird. And then Shelton and Bloom talk about um, lies that have been, Chilton has been saying, I guess. I guess in his first book about Hannibal, there's a lot of lies. And then Hannibal is publishing his own story that's going to call Chilton out, I guess, on all these lies. And Bloom's like, you're about to go down too now. He's pissed. There's a whole story coming out that's gonna, everyone's gonna be really mad with you. So I'm intrigued at what that is and what kind of things he lied about. What did Shelton lie about in his book about Hannibal? Why would he need to lie? Uh, and then we finally see Will and Jack. And obviously Jack wants Will back. So stupid. Oh my god, just let Will be. Let Will be happy. Let him be sane. It's so mean, Jack. And I get it where it's like, Will knowing these motives going on without helping, but that's the same thing that happened last time. He wanted to do it to help people, and it fucked him over, and it's gonna fuck him over again, and it's not fair to, J to Will. Let him live. He needs to learn to live on, well, there's people dying every day across the world. People being murdered, and you can't blame Will uh, for that, so what? <laughs> it's annoying. Let him be. Let my sweet baby be. But we do learn this in these three years, Will has gotten with Molly. I guess, I don't know if they're married or not, dating, but she has a child named Walter. So he, she, he's living in a new place with Molly and Walter. He has a family. And now Jack is taking him away from this too. Even Molly is like trying to convince convince him to go to and that's pissed me off because I'm like I get it he if he sees all these murders going on and doesn't do anything and just sits and watches he's gonna his head's gonna wrap around but it's gonna do the, it's gonna be worse if he does go and get involved with Hannibal again with Jack with all of this it's gonna be worse than if he stayed because he could work on it and figure out a way to forget and not notice these murders stop reading the newspaper as much watching the news focus on the family Focus on your life, and he could live on and be fine. But now he's probably gonna die by the end of the season or the series. Ugh, annoying. Annoying. Okay. And then we have Hannibal sent a letter to Will, and surprisingly, he says to Will, basically, "Don't come back." He's like, "I know Jack's gonna come and try to bring you back, but don't." Which is weird. But it also kind of feels like it's like reverse psychology. Like just sending a letter to Will no matter what it said. Brings Will to like think about Hannibal again. And to be like I kind of want to see him again. Part of him wants like that obsession of his with Hannibal kind of. It turns back on. Even if it's just a tiny little flip. It's tiny enough to bring Will to flip over that little fence he was on. He was... He was debating, and then I think that letter was like, oh, I could see Hannibal again. 
I think that might have been the deciding thing. And then Will goes to the crime scene of the one house and relives the whole Moto thing, which is really cool. We haven't seen it in a long time. So that was really nice to see. It was a gruesome Moto. And then we see Special Agent Price with, um, what's his name? His name, I don't know. The two science guys. I still miss Beverly, but these guys will do. It's been a while since we've seen them. But they are back. There's a little mention of Freddy, which was nice. I wonder if we're going to actually see her again. It's been a long time with her, too. But they're going over the mom's body, and they find a fingerprint on the eye, which was interesting. Because Will was seeing how there was talcum powder, which is used to like, put rubber gloves on. So the killer took his gloves off just so he could, like, touch her and then, like, I guess clean her eye so he could see his reflection in them, which was, is so creepy and weird. Okay, sorry, slightly more notes on the next day. Right. And then they're discussing his teeth and his bite and how weird it is, but then we see he has like dentures. So I don't know, does he have no teeth and then he puts dentures in, or does he have these dentures to kind of, when he does go out and kill, he uses them. So it's not his own teeth. It's still creepy. And then at the end, we see Will being like, going to Jack and be like, it's inevitable. I'm going to have to go to Hannibal anyway. Should I do it now, weeks before the moon and the next kill? Or should I wait till like two, three days before when I'm going to inevitably be like, I'm going to need his help? At least Will is small enough to know he's going to eventually go to Hannibal anyway. We all knew it. Bound to happen. Get it out of the way. Just do it. And he does. He goes see Hannibal. I'm guessing the next episode we'll see that. I'm very excited about that. So excited. Thank you guys for watching. This was a great episode. It's like a new season, basically. I like it. Second half of the season, it's just a whole new thing. Completely different from the first half. I wonder if we'll see Chio again. Uh, Dr. B. I wonder who we're going to see. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up. Press that subscribe button. Press that notification bell down below in the description box. Links to the social media, Amazon wishlist, and Patreon for early uncut access to this show and all my other shows and movies. Thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.